Saturn is currently a gas giant that has an iconic ring around it. Saturn also has some of the most interesting moons in the solar system. We know that the future of Earth is quite hellish and literally hot, but what does the future of Saturn look like? Over the course of billions of years, as our Sun would slowly transition into the red giant phase, the luminosity of the Sun would also increase by thousands of times of the current luminosity. What that means is that more sunlight would be reaching Saturn, and in a couple billion years, rings of Saturn would slowly start to disappear. And that is because rings of Saturn are made mostly out of large particles that consist of water. And over time, as the heat would increase, icy form of that water around Saturn would vaporize and disappear. So Saturn would have this sort of naked look. Unpredictable changes in the atmosphere of Saturn would also likely appear. There is a chance that the atmosphere would seem a lot different in the future. Also, as the Sun would be a red giant, this would kind of transfer into Saturn, as it would have more of a red color appearing in the atmosphere, because of the light. From Saturn, the Sun would also appear to be absolutely gigantic, because the diameter of our Sun would expand by at least 150 times of its current diameter. So the Sun would be at least 150 million kilometers long, which is going to be enough to swallow planet Earth whole. But Saturn is standing at 1.4 billion kilometers away, so it would be safe. Now those are the changes that would take place on the planet Saturn. But what would happen to its prominent moons? Let's start with Titan, moon that currently has a very thick atmosphere and lakes full of methane and ethane. So, future of Titan is very complex. As billions of years would pass, lakes present on Titan would slowly start to vaporize and disappear into the atmosphere of Titan as they would be heated. But also the atmosphere would be as well getting thinner, because as it would be getting heated more and more by the sun, molecules in the atmosphere would be also moving faster and would slowly escape the gravity of Titan. Not all of them would escape, but a huge portion of Titan's atmosphere would escape. As that would happen, simultaneously the surface of Titan would start to melt. And because the surface of Titan is mostly water ice, some of that ice could actually turn into liquid water, meaning Titan would gain whole new lakes consisting of water. But as the heating would get more intense from the sun and the atmosphere would escape, even those lakes would start to disappear. What would be left now is ocean underneath the rocky surface, which again would consist of water. Life could also evolve there. Now let's take a look at Enceladus, a tiny moon that has a lot of water in form of ice and liquid. As many years would pass, this moon would just start to vaporize, as it doesn't have the gravity to retain an atmosphere, which is crucial for liquid water. Slowly its surface and then its ocean would vaporize and relatively very quickly. What would be left now of Enceladus would only be its small rocky core. This round moon would then look more like an asteroid, which would be very empty. Now let's see Iapetus, a moon which is quite mysterious. But in the future, 80% of its surface area would vaporize. Mountains present there would be much less spectacular. A huge ridge that it once had would then not even be noticeable. The light and dark sides would probably also get a new color, as most of the surface area would be vaporized. So pretty much a similar faith is going to happen to other moons of Saturn, because a lot of them consist of water ice. They would all lose massive amounts of mass. So in its entirety, in the far future, Saturn and its moons would not even look at all like they look today. If a human were to appear there right now, in the future, he probably would not even recognize that he is looking at Saturn, or that he is even in the solar system.